scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. Today I'm talking about TVs. These kind of TVs we see a lot more on garbage day. People are getting rid of these and getting the, the plasmas and the flat screens. Um, there's a lot of goodies inside of one of these big TVs. Uh, different than uh, a flat screen. Um, there's a lot more copper inside of one of these. Uh, so I'm going to take it apart and show you. Uh, it's a good... Uh, good thing to, to find uh, in the trash and to make some money off the copper because there's a lot in there. So uh, first thing I need to do is I need to take off the exterior uh, shell. It's just bolted in with screws. I've already done that for the sake of time. It, it is heavy um, and there is a lot of waste with this. Usually what I do is after I scrap take the copper out I will actually still drop it off at uh, an electronic uh, depot facility just because uh, there there's still stuff in there uh, and you know I don't really want to put this in the trash okay so there is a nice uh, yoke of copper right here uh, there is a really nice um, uh, circuit board there are two steel um, speakers and there is also a nice wire of copper uh, insulated copper that goes around the TV so I'm going to start off actually with cutting. There is a the tube that goes from the uh, TV uh, to the circuit board. Uh, people say that you can get a shock um, if you don't let the TV sit for a couple days. Uh, it's been sitting so I feel safe. I also, some people have said use one hand um, so it doesn't shock you. I've never been shocked. I've taken apart tons of TVs so uh, I still don't want to be dumb. <laughs> so I did cut it, so now there is no sh charge, okay? Um, the motherboard, uh, I will actually just cut the cord, and I will clean it up later, but I'm just going to quickly, for the sake of time, cut the cords, show you what's in here, okay? Um, I know last, a couple videos ago, I talked about the difference between higher grade board and lower grade board. Um, these kind of boards, the older ones, are not really um, not a lot of real significant gold or, or any uh, types of precious metals or anything so this actually would go more for a lower grade board okay and there are a couple really good things on here uh, there's some aluminum heat sinks a couple there there is a transformer some people take these off uh, some people don't there is also I take these boxes off these squares uh, if you open those up, crack them off, take them off, if you open them up, there's actually silver contacts in those. So when I take apart a circuit board, I will take the aluminum. If the transformer is big enough, I'll take it off. If not, I just use it uh, as weight for the circuit board. But I definitely take off these two black plastic boxes. They're easy to, to, to see or to recognize. Okay. And if you don't know what a silver contact is, once I take it apart... There is actually a spool of copper, a little spool of copper on that. Uh, so the copper is obviously good, very thin, but it still adds up. And there will be a silver contact. You can see the end tip, there's a silver uh, circle. That is silver, okay? So I usually cut those off, I put them in the container, and I put them, like I said, I store them up, and eventually when I have enough, I'll hit them with some nitric acid, and I will... Uh, hopefully make a small bouillon, okay? I'm not gonna take this uh, apart, but uh, very easy to take the aluminum off, uh, the heat sinks off, there's just a screw that's holding it in. I will take the uh, copper coil right there off. Um, there's two of them there, as well as um, those two um, silver contacts, okay? But I'm, oh, and there's also a nice copper spool right here. Uh, if you can see it, right there. Okay, so I will take that copper off as well. Okay, um, I'll do that on my own time. Okay, so easy to do to get to this beautiful piece of copper here. I just pull this off, slides off. There will usually be two or uh, one or two screws that I have to take out. Okay, so I'm going to do that right now. There we go, pops off. That was easy. Okay, I can put the screw in my steel bin. There's the other screw. And I just have to, it's just a clamp that's loosened by a screw. There. 
pass that off. Okay. Use it up more. Some people use a drill, I don't. Okay. Some people also crack the top of this to let the air out. You don't need to, okay? If, if, you, if you're careful, there, there's no need to, okay? And this just slides right off, okay? Um, as I said, really nice copper inside, easy to get to, so I'm gonna show you how to do it in a sec. Okay, I'm gonna cut the wires from the speakers inside here. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside for a second. Okay, there is another small little um, e-waste motherboard, not worth anything, but I will cut the cords off. I'll put these little cords into a low-grade um, wire bucket. Okay, they're not worth too much uh, on their own, but if they will add up if you have a, a bag of them. Okay, we get about, I think, 20 cents uh, Canadian money for lower grade. Okay. There is also, and I didn't mention it yet, but there is the cord that the TV is plugged into the wall with. This cord is just another appliance cord. These cords go for a dollar a pound, all right? And um, this is not quite a, a pound, but there are two coated brass prongs on there. Some people will take those off, put them in their coated uh, brass bucket. Some people leave them on. It doesn't really matter, you get pretty much the same weight, okay? There is also a really nice coil that I'm gonna get to right now that I'm going to show you that is copper. It goes around the TV and it's usually kept in with zip ties, okay? So, it's very easy to identify. It is a black, Coil, okay, you'll always find them. Now, some of them are aluminum, some of them are um, red copper inside, so coating inside. Some of them are just a beautiful copper. One way to find out is cut it open. And if you can see that, that is copper. So this is a really nice piece of copper. I throw it into my insulated uh, copper bin. Um, some people, Take the time to strip it. Um, if I, I have a stripper, I haven't tried one yet, but I think if I put it in the stripper, uh, they're all small little uh, wires, so I think it would be very messy. So I just keep it as is, fold it up, take off the smaller uh, wires, take those off of there, and I will throw this in. Actually, I will throw it in the bin where my extension cords are because it is a thicker wire. So um, it is actually, more money than um, the appliance uh, cord. Okay, so there's another cord. A uh, couple other little things is the speakers. Okay, I'm very simple. They're just uh, bolted in with screws. I'm not gonna take both of them out, but I usually just put them right into my metal bin. And like I said, I'm just gonna take one out for you. Okay, and I was, I'm gonna tell you there is a difference uh, between flat screen TVs. They are, they're worth getting to. They uh, don't have that copper oak, but they do have a um, really nice, there's metal inside in the back. There's a, there's a sheet of, I think, aluminum. There is some waste, of course, but uh, Okay, so there is a speaker. Some people just take them and sell them as is on eBay. I don't, I just put them in my, uh, my scrap. Okay, so those are the guts of a TV. And okay, now lastly, as I promised, I am going to clean the copper out of this um, yoke. Okay, and all I do, <laughs> very simple. Okay, this is actually steel around it. So you wanna be careful. It just peels off, okay. And all I do is I take a hammer, okay, put it on my thing. Okay. Now there will be two parts to the copper. Okay, inside the fan or the the bell, I guess you want to call it. There are 
two pieces of copper. These are just tacked on to some tape. Okay. So there are two of these. These would go into, because there's a coating on it, I'm going to take the rest of the tape off with a knife in the, after the video. But these would just go into my um, number two because they are not there, they have a coating on them, but it's still copper. This beautiful copper here is spooled around um, some, like a metal disc, okay? Very easy to take off. Because I used a hammer and broke it, it just peels off nicely, okay? I'll take my gloves off quickly. But uh, as you can see, it just peels off, okay? And this would go into, because it's thin, it would still go into, I, I want to say, my number two bin. Uh, sometimes there actually is glue still on them. Okay, so I don't know. It depends on how picky your scrapyard is or how much you have. But uh, right, that's all you do. And if you get stumped, you just break it open again. And get, closer get closer to the edge. Okay, so that's all it is. Okay, so the metal goes into my steel bucket and the copper, like I said, there's going to be two of these. All right, um, take it off. Okay, so again, as I said, sometimes there's glue on it. Okay, you just use a little muscle and pry it off or cut it smaller and some people will just uh, just cut it with uh, snippers. I don't need to really do that. I just pull it. Okay, it just unwinds. And it's done. There we go. All right. So a nice spool of copper. Okay. So just to recap. If you think a TV's not worth it, you've got this, copper, you got the cord, you got some steel from the speakers, um, you've got the motherboard that has some copper on it, some silver on it, okay? I will show you just at the end here the difference I said with a flat screen. Flat screen, they don't have a big motherboard. Usually what they have is... Um, a long couple of these on there. Some people say that they are higher grade because there is gold um, down the side here that is apparently gold brushed. Um, not much gold in, gold in the recovery process, but still a little bit. So I think these would go for a higher grade. Okay, if there's any questions, uh, comment, um, ask me anything you need, uh, like, subscribe, uh, and I will see you on the next video. Okay, Tin Man out.